CLL can originate from cells that have not uh, activated the somatic hypermutation process, though, so these are pre-germinal centered cells, or from cells that have uh, undergone the process of somatic hypermutation, and this is post-germinal centered cells. We know now for more than 20 years, almost 25 years, that those individuals with unmutated CLL will fare worse than patients with mutated uh, immunoglobulin genes. So <clears throat> those patients will progress more rapidly, those with unmutated CLL. They will uh, have a shorter progression-free survival uh, following treatments with immunochemotherapy regimens. Uh, Interestingly, with the advent of B cell receptor inhibitors or BTK inhibitors, there is no more difference between the unmutated and mutated patients, at least with the follow-ups that we have, in terms of duration of response. In uh, patients with CLL, uh, we know that the combination of BTK inhibitors, so BCR inhibitors, with uh, the other paradigm of uh, activity of disease, which is BCL2 overexpression, so with BH3 mimetics, can bring down the disease to undetectable. It's quite interesting that from studies like the Captivate study, we see that patients with unmutated and mutated immunoglobulin genes will actually have a different depth of response where those patients with unmutated immunoglobulin genes will have a deeper response. So MRD undetectability is higher in unmutated CLL than mutated CLL patients. And this is something that bring us, brings us to thinking about the future, how the combination should be placed, in which type of condition mutated or unmutated CLL.